Hi guys, welcome back to GP Reactions. I hope you're well. I hope you're having a great day. Um, I hope you're not getting heat stroke. Um, it's going to be really, really hot in, uh, today in the UK. Um, and tomorrow's just going to be like mental. It's going to be like 40 degrees. I mean, I don't even know what it's like. If I could like wear a fridge and take it to work with me, I probably would. Um, but I know that um, tomorrow, I, I'm just glad I'm on, a, I'm on an early start at work tomorrow. So that um, at least when I'm finished, I'm coming out of an air conditioned environment rather than uh, going to work in an oven. It's just, you know, I love heat and I love the sunshine, but I think uh, 40 degrees, it's just like, you know, 10 degrees too much for me. So um, I have no concept of what it's going to be like. I don't think I've ever been on abroad with 40 degree heat. So um, it's going to be an experience of a kind of, I probably won't wish to... Um, to repeat although today it's supposed to be 32 degrees although at the moment it's it's quite overcast it's still quite early in the morning though so anyway enough babble um now i'm going to be reacting now to a track by kid creole and the coconuts this is one i think i've heard um i remember my brother recording a concert or something with kid creole and the coconuts and that would have been back in about 1982 so I've gone for a live version of uh, I'm a Wonderful Thing Baby and this was taken from the album Tropical Gangsters. Um, the actual track didn't do too badly. It entered the UK Top 40 on the 30th of April 1982 and it actually peaked at number 4. I'm really surprised I, I, I'm really surprised that I don't remember knowing this or maybe I do. Um, I think it's going to be one of those I actually do know. But uh, we'll see anyway. Um, Kick Creole Coconuts consists of August Darnell, uh, Cody Mundy, and I think the other founding member was Adriana Kaigi. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. And then you've got um, the coconuts, um, the other two coconuts, which are Cheryl Poirier. Pau it's probably a French name, so I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Uh, Tarian Hagi. There's some really awkward names to pronounce here, but um, I believe on this one track also you've got Peter Scott who is on horns and strings. Um, horns and strings makes it sound quite orchestral. So uh, without further ado, this is a live version I've at live at in the UK at Granada TV um, in 1982. No idea, so I'm gonna have a listen. Well, you know if I know it anyway. I don't quite remember this. I remember the hook. Um, I'm a wonderful thing, baby, that bit. But 
the rest of it, I don't really remember it. it I mean, I've heard of uh, bits and pieces of Kitchen Creole and the Coconuts, obviously. Um, they had Annie and Not Your Daddy and um, Stall Pigeon. Um, so those two I know. Um, and there's maybe a little bits and pieces I've heard. So I, I, I you know, and I understand the sound of them. And um, I'm just really reveling in this performance. It's so, um, it's uh, August Darnell's persona is like a cartoon character. Um, and yeah, I just, I just love the, the vibe I get from watching this, watching this band, um, this group um, perform. It's uh, so entertaining. And uh, I, I thought there was three coconuts, um, but there's only two. But then I noticed that the third coconut is is actually doing the fully on, full on backing vocals. I think um, in this, uh, so um, yeah, this is great. This is I'm really really enjoying it. Very colourful as well. I love that kind of Cuban feel to this band. I'm a tell this is like a slightly old recording um probably recorded on vhs but uh, the quality's not too bad but there's, uh, there's a couple of little jumps here and there so um you know i apologize if you think it's something wrong with the editing this is actually happening on there um i love the outfits everyone's outfits just fantastic do you know i mean you can see a lot of stuff now and it's very well a lot of videos these days or a lot of acts are very well uh, choreographed um but they almost always kind of feel a little too choreographed like they've been working more on the dance moves than they have on the actual vibe of a performance and uh, uh and i i often watch these 80s performances and i think there's there's like 70 percent of it is planned out and there's probably 30 percent that's not um this is a bit of a raunchy performance as well um august darnell is um i i think he's like a lafario a guy who he's um he's so narcissistic and full of his own self-importance and uh his god's gift to women and, and but it's a it's a wonderful that the music kind of it's not it's not too sensual it's it's a bit um rough and ready around the edges with its uh sort of sexuality of the music i don't know if that makes any sense it's a it's it's a bit raunchy the music is but i think the horns as well add that add that little bit of raunchiness to it um it's yeah it's a lovely lovely track to listen to it's re real real good fun watching it as well I'm a wonderful baby. Such a, such a... Minutes, Mundi. I want to go through the little black book for you. You got anything in there? 
What you got? No brag, just facts. Oh, show, show, man, show. I just want to go through the A's, all right? Check it out. I got Anna. I got Amy. I got Andrea. I got Addy. Dear, dear Addy. You remember Addy up oh, on Southern man, Boulevard. Oh, man, you still got that ugly thing in the Bronx? Uh, ugly, huh? You wanted something last year. Oh, man, I wouldn't want any part of her. You can keep her. I'm not through, huh. brother. I got Sophie. Hey, I got Sophie. I thought you were talking about the A. What you talking about, Sophie? That's what I said. I said I got a Sophie. <laughs> oh, you a wise guy, man. You a wise guy. Let me ah. move on to my bees, brother. You Let me move on to my bees. You I got, got Bonnie. Guys, so that was uh, Keith Kiran and Coconuts and Wonderful Thing Baby live at UK Granada TV 1982. It's really good sound as well. I like the orchestra in the background. Um, and uh, yeah, it's probably the first time I've, because um, I'm not sure if the bits and pieces that I, I saw were um, were live or whether it was studio. But um, this is definitely live. I love his singing, he's really cool. I like the little bit at the end, the little back and forth between um, August Darnell and Cota Monday. Um, it's a really cool, fun track and uh, very colourful as well. It, you know, it's kind of a shame that the audience is just like rooted to the spot because it felt like it should have been maybe, I don't know, a bit of a uh, um, a more fun atmosphere. But um, back then the audiences were quite weird. They probably didn't, didn't even know they were going to be watching Kicker on Coconuts. But this was really good anyway. And... Um, Lord knows why I, I didn't really kind of get to listen to this properly back in 1982. And you know the best thing about all this is that I'm hearing music that um, I didn't really take any notice of back in the day. And I thought I knew every track there was between, I don't know, let's say 1976 and about 1988. Um, I thought I knew everything about the music, but um, what's actually... Um, What's actually uh, happening is that I'm realising that I, I know hardly anything, even about the tracks that I thought I did know. Um, so it's a wonderful exploration back in time for me to to have a look at his music. Um, I love his lyrics and uh, he played the part so well that I probably don't even need to uh, read the lyrics. It's, um, um, yeah, he's, he's a guy who knows what he wants. He, he believes in himself and... Um, He's the, he's the best thing uh, since sliced bread for all the lucky ladies who encounter him. And that's essentially what the lyrics are about. And he's got a black book as long as your arm. Um, but uh, so did Cota Monday. Um, and that was a nice little twist at the end, I thought, to show that it's not just about, you know, heterosexual kind of thing. Um, but I like what they did anyway at the end. That was fun. Um, so, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, for sure, join me in the comments below. If you remember this or if you remember any other live performance by uh, Kikura on Coconuts. Um, and I will say actually back then, um, bands like this um, seemed very apart from trends and stuff. And there was quite a few bands like this that operated outside of the trends of the 80s. And, uh, and I felt that, you know, it helped. Uh, give the, the the nucleus of what was happening with musical um, fashion um, that extra 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 layer that extra tapestry um, an extra dimension even if his music wasn't the most sophisticated best classic pop uh, or rock music of its day um, it still lent the, the the building not the building blocks but it still added um, that extra dimension to everything else that was important um, 
and it was good. I think you need a bit of light, light relief in music. Uh, like I say, I watch you know quite a few videos and stuff here and there, um, and it doesn't have that um, that fun element in them. A lot of them don't, and when they do, it feels like it's been overly choreographed and forced. Um, I, I'm not sure that music these days hasn't lost some of some of the uh, what's the word uh, some of the vibe. Um, that feeling of having just pure joyous fun with uh, whatever, whatever the performance was. I'm sure these guys worked very hard and they choreographed a lot of what they did, but it they make it seem so natural and seamless. Anyway, that's enough from me. Have a great day. Don't get too hot. Um, if you've got pets, you know, make sure they've got enough water to drink. Make sure they've got somewhere cool to sleep. And, um, and uh, a little tip, what I'm going to try this afternoon, I'm going to fill a bowl of water up. I've got two big um, two litre bottles of water which are frozen and I'm going to drop drop them into a a bowl of cold water so that you're going to have a block of ice within the cold water and that should um, keep uh, the ice from melting too soon but also it will hopefully make the water that's in the bowl colder as well. Sit down in the living room, I don't have air conditioning and maybe I'll, I'll shoot a fan at it at some point. Um, so till next time, take, take care, stay safe uh, and keep cool.